it's Memorial Day week, so it's going to be a little light on the news. What we do have is that Andy Circus is going to be doing the audio book for The Cimmerillion. He already recorded it. It's coming out this summer. Previously, he did The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. A lot of people use Memorial Day weekend to go see the movies. The Little Mermaid took number one. Fast X and Guardians of the Galaxy are right behind her. As a reminder, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse comes out June 2nd. You can start watching it the evening of June 1st. Tickets are obviously on sale already. And I'm going to do a video explaining this a crazy cool cast. I'm also working on a video showing all the things that are coming out this month. If you're like me, there's a huge hole in your watch list because Succession and Barry are done. By the way, no spoilers, but you know that gross concoction he had to drink? We found out he actually drank that on set. That's so nasty. A brand new episode of Geek Freaks came out today. We talk about Fast X, Zelda, Marvel Delays, and so much more. If you haven't heard it yet, check it out. That's actually our main podcast, but we have like 12 shows. You can check out any of them if you'd like. Today we learned that Australia's Prime Video is going to be making a brand new office. This one will be female-led by stand-up comedian Felicity Ward. She'll be the brand new manager of a paper company in Sydney and struggling with her new employees and all their quirks. The office has had many remakes. The original was the Ricky Gervais from the UK and of course probably the most popular has got to be the Steve Carell one in the United States. If you're looking forward to this one, it'll be on Prime Video in 2024. Euphoria and White Lotus star Sydney Sweeney just confirmed that she will be playing Julia Carpenter in the new Madam Web series. Now, Julia Carpenter is the second Madam Web. This comes from an interview with Total Films via the Direct, and she explains that she could not be more excited to be joining this Marvel Universe. This is being developed by Sony, but it'll likely be shared by both sides. Much like when we do get Venom in the MCU, it's probably going to be Tom Hardy. We don't have full details exactly on what's going to happen in this Madam Web series, but likely it'll be about Julia Carpenter learning from the original. Splash Mountain has officially closed as of May 30th. It will remain closed through its remodel until late 2024 where it'll become tiana's bayou adventure i've always been a little bit too much of a wuss to go on this ride but i have appreciated all the tiktoks and youtube videos where everybody's sharing their last rides on this classic but i'm looking forward to seeing what all that new disney tech can look like in this old school ride we got two brand new trailers today the first one is a brand new teenage mutant ninja turtles mutant mayhem the best thing about this trailer in particular is that we get to see the actual bad guys we knew there had to be multiple bad guys because the cast on this thing is massive matter of fact all the named cast that people you're familiar with are the bad guys so what it is, is the TMNT run into a mutant army, really, that are trying to create an all-mutant world. And the Turtles will have to choose between their mutant brethren or defending humanity. I want to give a quick shout-out again on this amazing artwork. They clearly took something from Spider-Verse. It just looks super cool. The other trailer we got is a brand new one for Black Mirror Season 6. This trailer breaks down all five stories, showing us what each one are about. I would say the primary one they're talking about in this trailer is Joan is Awful, which looks to be kind of parodying some of the Netflix shows. It's kind of funny. It's actually got its own own version of Netflix within this Netflix show. Either way, Black Mirror is always good. I can't wait to see all these and they're coming out June 15th on Netflix.